hey guys welcome to the next video on scala tutorial for beginners so now we have some basic understanding of how scala REPL works and how data types and variable works in scala using scala REPL. now in this video i'm going to show you how you can download and install scala ide to develop your scala code so let's get started so just open your favorite browser and search for scala ide now Scala is an Eclipse based IDE so you need to have Java installed on your system before installing Scala IDE. So I'm hoping that you have already installed Java on your system. So just go to the first link which is scala-ide.org and once the website is open you will be able to see this kind of download button here. So I'm going to click this download button. And on the downloads page, I'm going to just scroll down a little. And here I will be able to see three options. One for Windows, other for Mac, and third is for Linux operating system. So we want to install this Skull IDE on our Windows operating system. So I'm going to choose this option, Windows 64-bit. So this is going to download the Scala zip file. So I'm going to wait for uh, this zip file to download and once it's downloaded it's really easy we just need to extract it and start using Scala so I will wait for that so now this zip file is downloaded so I'm going to go to the folder where I have downloaded this zip file so this is the zip file which I have downloaded and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and extract this zip file so I'm going to right click and extract and then let me extract it to my desktop for example okay you can choose any folder of your choice where you want to extract this zip file okay so in this case i'm choosing my desktop folder and i will just say select folder and then extract and i will wait for the extraction to complete so now the extraction of that zip file is complete and that zip file will be extracted as this folder so this folder will be named as Eclipse okay so as I told you that uh, Scala IDE is a Eclipse based IDE so the folder which you extract will be uh, extracted as the folder name Eclipse so just open this uh, folder and here you will be able to see this Eclipse icon you just need to double click on this and I'm going to minimize this and for the first time when Scala IDE starts, it asks you to give the workspace path. So this workspace is a directory where all your project will be saved, right? Same as Eclipse. So I just want to check this option, which says use this uh, as a default uh, folder, right? And I'm going to just click OK now. So now this Scala IDE has been started. I'm going to maximize it. And let's create a project and then I'm going to go to the file option here and then choose new and then choose Scala project and now I'm going to give a name to my Scala project for for example Scala sample and for now leave everything as default so we will choose uh, this option which says use an execution environment JRE and then uh, this option create separate folder for the sources and class files okay and now I'm going to just click finish here. So now on the left hand side, I can see my project has been created and there is a folder called source here, right? So here I'm going to create uh, an object file. So before writing any code, we will go to the Scala website and we will see how uh, the hello world program can be written using Scala from the official website, okay? So this is the official website scala-lang.org. I'm going to press on documentation here. And in the document section, you will be able to see this kind of uh, documents page. I'm going to select this option which says Scala for Java programmers. And on this Scala for Java programmers page, I will scroll down a little. And here I can see the basic hello world code which I can uh, execute using Scala, okay? So what I need to do, I will create a Scala object file and then use this code 
to print hello world so on your scala project just right click on the source uh, folder here so src right click on that and then select new and then select scala object okay so we don't want to select scala class we want to select scala object and i will uh, explain you what scala object is in a moment but for now let's give the name to this object so for example i will give the name hello world to this object and then i will just press finish which is going to create this hello world object file so you can see this hello world.scala file is created and we have some code here right now let's increase the font size of this code so you can see it in a better way so i'm going to click on window here and then press preferences and in the preferences just select general and in the general just select editors and under editors just select text editors and under text editor you will be able to see at the top colors and font so i'm going to just click this option colors and font and then i'm going to just select text font here and then i'm going to edit the font here and right now the font size is 10 so i'm going to make it 16 and click ok and apply and then click ok so now the font size has been increased so let's copy the same code from the scala website this code so we already have defined this uh, hello world object we just need to uh, copy this method under this hello world object so i'm just going to copy this method under hello world object and then paste it here and now i'm going to save my code and let me explain you this code first of all so you may not be familiar with this keyword object so what is object so object is a class but it already has an instance so you cannot call a new keyword on this object right so as you have seen in java whenever you create a class in order to use it you need to instantiate it so you need to create an object of it and how you create an object of it using a new keyword but this object which you use here in scala this keyword this is already instantiated so we can say the object keywords create a singleton type which is like a class that only has one named instance so you cannot create another instance of an object now if you are familiar with java objects serve the same purpose as static method with some additional features so you use this object keyword and then give a name to your object and then inside your object you have this method so in uh, scala you define methods like this i'm going to discuss about them uh, in detail later and then as we have seen in java every scala project must have uh, at least one and only one main method and this is how you can pass arguments in this main method and print line method you can use to print any message now to execute this code you just need to right click on this file and then choose run as and then choose scala application okay so once again right click on this file and then choose run as and then choose scala application and once you do this it's going to build your scala project and then it's going to print this message you can see on console hello world is printed okay so this is how you can create your first scala project okay now if in case you want to use scala interpreter or scala rappel what you can do is you can uh, right click on your project so select your project name and right click on it and then select scala from here so just select scala and then choose this option which says create scala interpreter in scala sample okay so just uh, select this option which says create scala interpreter in scala sample and now it's going to open this scala interpreter here okay so for example we want to execute the same code uh, in scala interpreter so i'm going to just copy this code from here and then paste it here and then i'm going to press enter so now it says defined object hello world so when you paste this uh, code it has defined the object called hello world so we can use this hello world object here so just use hello world object 
and then dot your method name so our method name is main here okay so inside this object we have only one method which is called main so we are going to just use it like this so the object name dot the method name and what argument it takes it takes an array okay so we will just pass an empty array here so i'm going to use this bracket and then i'm going to just use these double quotes here and once you do that just press enter and you can see it prints hello world once again so in this way you can use scala interpreter or scala rappel inside your scala ide also so in this way you can download and install scala ide on your windows operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now